welcome to Studio X and SAP Automation Introduction. My name is Lev Kushnir, I'm Director of Product Management, and today I will show you how you can do SAP Automation with Studio X. First of all, thanks to our deep and certified integration between UiPath, Studio and SAP, we have prepared a set of pre-built activities which can ensure the easy of use and easy of development of your automation projects. Let me provide you with the insights what is available out of the box. So, first of all, it's SAP Logon activity. You have to choose the right system to log on to SAP. Next step, you are going to provide your credentials. So, for this purpose, use SAP Logon activity. Once you are in SAP itself, you would run call transaction to open any kind of transactions or program. During the navigation and during your work in SAP, you will meet uh, a different buttons. You will work with different toolbars. For this purposes, here we have click toolbar button activity. And then once your document is safe, once you're progressing with your business process, you would need to read the information from status bar, like in confirmation messages. Then during your work, select menu item will help you to select a particular item from the overall SAP menu, which we will see live in a second. Then we have an activity for selection the date in calendar, where you can select just one date or to choose a specific week. And then uh, it's activity about expanding uh, SAP tree. So SAP trees can be dynamic, can be static. So to ensure that you are always in the right place, you have to use SAP expand tree activity. And the last one it's rarely used is click picture on the screen. And we will see once more live in a second, what does it mean to click picture on the screen? This is a picture embedded in SAP window. This is a big picture of SAP activities available out of the box. A lot of questions are coming, which SAP WinGUI versions are supported. Here, good news, UiPath has certified integration with SAP S4HANA and SAP ACC for SAP WinGUI automation. As I have mentioned before, it means we are supporting all versions of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 10, different architecture, SAP Logon, SAP Logon Path, and all commonly used SAP WinGUI version, starting from 7.4, going up to latest one, 7.7. .7. And yes, all SAP themes such as Corbu, Blue Crystal, Belize, and the latest and newest one, Quartz, are supported out of the box. Okay, guys, this was introduction into SAP activities and our support for WinGUI. I would say, let's move on. Let's go to Studio X and see live how it works. Great, I am in UiPath Studio X and I would like to automate SAP, SAP process, log into SAP, starting the transaction and then try out different SAP activities, what I have just recently shown. So let's go to SAP tab. Let's start with SAP logon, where I have to enter my SAP system. Let's see, this all systems are available for me. During the demo, I'm going to use SAP S4HANA 1909. So SAP S4HANA 1909. This is the way how I'm entering the data. Once I'm done, let me close this window and let me run the process. UiPath is starting. I'm going to call SAP and SAP is here. I'm on the first screen. I can continue with my automation. I have to define the application scope is this where we are going to use our automation. It will be our SAP screen. Now I'm back in SAP and would need to actually to log into my SAP system. This is a window where I'm going to log in. And here I have to provide all necessary information, such as a client, such as a username. Uh, for demo purposes, Today, I'm going to use unencrypted password in plain text. During your real process automation, you are going to use and store your password in secure place. For me, it's just a demo user as of now. And in the last step, I have to select the right language. Everything is set. Everything is good. Let me close SAP WinGUI. Let me 
close all windows. I do not need and let me show you once more live how we are going to connect to SAP system. So now I'm starting SAP Wingui in background. This is open. I'm entering the data and I am in. Yeah, that's it. Next step would be to use call transaction. I'm going to enter the transaction in the screen. In my case, let me use transaction ME22N. It's a change of sales order. Uh, and from now on, I'm not going to run the whole process. I'm going just to run this activity to show you live how it behaves. So I am in SAP, I am running change purchase order, and now I'm, I'm inside. So in the next step, let me use SAP menu activities to navigate through the whole menu, indicate on screen. I have to select the whole screen, the whole SAP screen uh, to read the whole menu. And when I'm speaking about menu, I mean the menu of the whole system. This is this menu. And for our purpose, let me grab purchase order check. So I want to navigate to more purchase order and purchase order check. To perform this check yeah so i'm expecting this window how i'm going to do it i'm reading the whole menu here i have an option to choose from the whole menu i do not need to think about it where it is so let me choose just a check so i'm i'm here and let us execute this piece of activity so now as you remember i'm expecting a pop-up saying that check was performed Okay, it's here. It is working. Great. What else we have? So this was SAP select menu item. Then let us try click toolbar button. I'm here once more. I'm on the screen. I want to click, for example, message button, right? For this purposes, I'm going to choose which buttons and then I will have a drop down all available buttons on the screen. Okay. So this is how it works. Uh, maybe let me let, 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 let us run this to show you how it behaves. So run from this activity. I will show you exactly. Click on this button and we will see how it behaves. The click was performed and now in SAP and SAP. Uh, so you see successful execution and in SAP you see uh, that check was performed and there is no no any troubles invalid okay command okay so this was click to bar button let me show you read status bar okay read status bar uh, imagine i'm in purchase order i have changed something let me change it to two i'm going to save this order let me come to the successful message standard po was changed and i want to read this message Okay, how I'm going to do it? I'm going to tell Studio X where is the status bar, and that's it. All data will be extracted, uh, extracted for you. So save for later use, and let's let's call it as a message type. So message type is successful error information. Let me use uh, message text. This is a full text from, from status bar. So once more, we are going to store it for later use. And the last piece is uh, message data, which contains the data information. Okay, so with this approach, we are going to read the whole status bar and we are going to get all information. To show you how it works, let me just uh, grab common activity uh, message box and uh, just to display the data from the value we saved and let's display the whole message message text okay so let it run run from this activity so now i'm reading status bar and i'm showing to i'm, I'm going to show a display message box saying hey this is a status bar information i have stored here you see okay so this was quick introduction into uh, read status bar activity what we are missing from overall demonstration point of view is expand tree, it's picture on screen and it's calendar. Let me clean up my workflow that we will focus only on, on these activities. So let me delete everything here. 
that we have a fresh fresh place to work so uh, I will go in to demonstrate you expand tree on this transaction let me navigate to demo transaction DVDM you have it also in your system so here you see this tree this tree can be closed this tree can have different states with expand tree I'm going to navigate exactly to the right place so I want to actually to steer picture control and for this purpose I have to double click screen display so let me use expand tree activity indicate the whole tree yeah and I will here you see I'm navigating exactly to to the right node it's a picture control it's screen display so with this activity I'm navigating to the right node in the next step I have to click actually I have to double click uh, these entries so let me show you I want actually to click screen display we are identifying this element and I want to perform actually double click yeah that I am inside so let me let me run the whole workflow once more I'm in SAP I want to navigate to the right to the right tree you see the screen was moved and I'm inside this is a picture control in SAP uh, it can be big it can be small it can be centered yeah so it it can be in different place exactly and this is a point where we are going to use click picture on screen activity with this picture on screen I'm going to identify the place where the picture is is available and then let me just double click on this picture and you will see that it doesn't matter where the picture is available on the screen I'm always able to find this picture I'm able to perform so in our case double click okay so this was demonstration click on picture you have seen expand tree so the last open topic is actually select date in calendar so let me clean up my space let me come back to to my fresh scenario and let me find in SAP table control uh, not a table control calendar control let me navigate back so and now we are going to SAP business workspace here we have appointment calendar and for our demo purpose I would like actually to select some dates I would like to select a specific range of dates yeah how I'm going to do it let I'm back in studio X select date on in calendar I'm going to indicate my calendar so this is a menu with with calendar yeah this is a control with calendar and here I can select the date the range or the week yeah so let me let me select the week yeah so in this case I would like to select week number 15 so it's year 2021 and it would be week 15 okay let me run this activity let me now let let's see how it behaves so once more I am so it's it's running in background right so here you see I'm back in SAP I have selected the week 15 and this is exactly what what I have expected okay I would say that's it from specific SAP controls all other controls like a select item uh, like a type into activity clicks get data all other common activity can be used with SAP so it's available for all technologies it's here with that thank you very much for watching and see you soon